Hello and good day. We are highly welcome for today's tutorial. Yes, on the board we have a question under the process costing and a lesson 3 under the process costing. Remember the first video under the process costing, I explained to us how to get the expected output. In the second video which I gave us how to transfer from one process to another process until you get to the final process. And in this video, you are going to learn how to determine your total cost per unit, your total cost of production, the expected units, the value and of the good units, then also how to identify your abnormal loss or abnormal gain, and also how to make use of the normal loss. So, let's proceed. The question says that the following relates to Charlie Cares Nigeria Limited transfer from process A, units produced direct expenses, direct material, factory overhead, direct labor, and so on. The values are given. Then for process B, we have direct expenses, final output, normal loss, and the labor cost required. Determine the following, the total cost of process A, sorry, the total cost of process B, expected units, cost per unit, value of good unit, and value of abnormal loss. So, let's proceed to solutions. Now, the first thing we are asked to do here is to get our total cost of process B. Okay? Now, when we read through the question again, it says transfer from process A. Remember, here we have transfer from process A. And at this section, they are telling us the total cost of process B. So, how do we go about it? It is very simple. What you have to do is this. Now, number one. Total cost of process B. So you title the solution as well. This is what the total cost of process B. Meanwhile, you can't get the total cost of process B when you don't know what the total cost of process A is. So what we do here, since they told us transfer from process A and they gave us this um, transaction, so this um, account or this statement, and process B, they gave us this statement. So we are going to get our total cost. And as I told us earlier on in the previous video, the total cost of production is actually the summation of all costs incurred. Okay? So total cost of pr production. Now we'll write transfer from process a, just as it is given to us in the question, then we'll proceed. Now, what is our unit produced? Okay, this is a unit, so we are not taking this value. It is not a cost. Now, we'll have our direct expenses. So, you have what? Direct expenses. And the value for the direct expenses is what? 6,000. 6,000. We have what? Direct material. We have direct material. direct material and our direct material is what eight thousand so we have eight thousand here then we have the factory overhead remember all these are cost incurred so we'll pick all the cost incurred direct sorry factory overhead factory overhead and how much is our factory overhead we have seven thousand so we have seven thousand here then what is the next thing? We have a direct label. And direct label we are told is what? 11,000. So we have direct label. And direct label is what? 11,000. So we can see we've picked everything, every cost we have under the process A. So let's sum it up. So we have 6,000 plus 8. Okay, 8 plus 7 is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21. And plus this. So it gives us 32. So this is 32. Now this 32,000 we have here, remember this is process A account, okay? So this 32,000 we have here will be titled what? Total cost of process A. Of process A. Total cost of process A. Now remember, we are being told from the question to determine the total cost of process B. So what we do, we'll now come under here, we'll write what? Process B. Now, we are going to add the values in process B. And what are the values we have? Under process B, we have our direct expenses at 7,000. Watch, I have not closed the summation, the total I did here, okay? So, I'm still adding it under, what? Direct expenses. This is our direct expenses. And it is what? 7,000, right? Okay. 
Then we have our final output. Final output is not a cost, okay? So we don't pick our final output. What else do we have here? We have the labor costs. So we picked our direct expenses and we also pick a labor costs. So we have what? Labor costs. And the labor cost is what? 17,000. 17,000. So now we are going to get the summation of everything we have here. 7,000 plus 17,000 and plus 32,000. So by the time we add up everything, it gives us a total of 56,000. So this 56,000 Naira now simply represents what? The total cost of process B. Okay? So with this, we've gotten our value for the process B and we are done with question number one. So, question number two. It says the expected unit. I remember I told us to get our expected unit, it is what the input material minus our normal loss. Okay? Now, let us go again. Input material minus normal loss. So, number two. Number two. What are we looking for? Expected units. Expected units. So, to get our expected unit, what is the input material? Now, we have our input material here as our unit produced, which is 14,000. So, we say what? Input material. And the input material is what? 14,000. 14,000. Now, we're going to less our normal loss. Okay? So, we say normal loss. Now, what is our normal loss? When we come to the question, they gave us 7%. Now, 7% of what? It is always the 7% of the input material or the units produced, okay? So what we do here, normal loss, well now what? 7% 7 is 7 over 100 times, times what? 14,000. Times 14,000. So by the time we do the calculations here, it's going to give us 980. So we have 980 here. Remember, we are subtracting with less normal loss. So 14,000 minus 980 gives us 13,020. So we have 13,020. This value we have here represents what our expected units. But we can now go further to solve. Now, in order for us to determine if it is, we are going to have an abnormal loss or abnormal gain, now we'll now consider our final output. So when we bring our final output here, what is our final output? Our final output is 13,000, okay? So we have our final output here as 13,000. Now, what is the difference between 13,000 and 13,020? It is what? 20, okay? So, 20. Now, with the illustration I gave us in the first video, the introductory video on that process costing, I told us that when you are expecting 1320, like 13,020, and you finally got 13,000, did you make a profit or did you loss? It's a loss because you are expecting 13,020 units and you got 13,000. So what do we have here? It is an abnormal loss because you never expected to have such loss. So this 20 now represents what? Our abnormal loss. So this 20 is what? Abnormal loss. Okay? Why 13,000 we have here is our what? Final outputs. These are final outputs. Okay, you saw the process. Remember, 13,020 has given us our expected units. Okay, we just went further to determine our abnormal loss or abnormal gain. I remember I told us in every question you'll be given the normal loss, then the determination of the expected of your abnormal loss or gain. One, it must either be an abnormal loss or an abnormal gain. You can never solve a question where you have both an abnormal loss and abnormal gain. So let's move to question number three. Question number three says what? Cost per unit. Cost per unit. Now, how do we get our cost per unit? It is our total cost. The total cost. Now, what is our total cost? Yeah, this is our total cost of 56,000. Remember, it is the cost of the process A and the process B. It has given us 56,000, okay? Now, 56,000 divided by our expected unit. And what is our expected unit? It is what? 13,020, all right? Expected units was what? 13,020, okay? So, our total cost is, we say total cost divided by expected units. So, 
what is our total cost? We have 56,000 divided by expected unit, and our expected unit is what? 13,020. So, 13,020 divided by 56,000, that gives us what? 4.301. Remember, it is cost, so we have it in Naira, okay? 4.301. So, it is what? 4.301. This is our cost per unit. Total cost divided by the expected unit. So we'll go to the fourth one. The fourth question says the value of good units. Value of good units. Don't forget to title your account before you start solving, okay? It really matters. So the examiner, while marking your script, will know what exactly you have answered. Now, to get our value of good unit, it is now our final output multiplied by the cost per unit. So the formula, final output multiply the cost per unit. Now from this question, what is our final output? We have our final output here to be what? 13,000, right? So we have 13,000 times cost per unit. We have sold for our cost per unit already. And the total we had was what? 4.301. So, if we multiply the both of them, it gives us 55,913. 55,913. So, it's going to be in a Naira sign, 55,913. So, we move over to the last question, question number five. And question number five says the value of abnormal loss value of abnormal loss yes there's something i need to explain to us here value of abnormal loss now what is the value of abnormal loss in this question the formula for the value of abnormal loss is now the quantity of the abnormal loss minus the cost per unit quantity of the abnormal loss minus the cost per unit so how do we know the quantity of the abnormal loss here now the quantity of our abnormal loss when we take a look at it this is abnormal loss, okay? And this gave us what? 20. So 20 represents the value, isn't it? So I said the formula is what? The quantity of abnormal loss times the cost per unit. Cost per unit, okay? So what is the quantity of abnormal loss? We have what? 20 times. And what is our cost per unit? Our cost per unit from what we saw there was what? 4.301. So we have 4.301. So once we multiply these two values, it gives us what? 86,020. And we are true with this question. Okay? 86,000 and, sorry, 86.02. 86.02. That is the final answer. So, this question is now left for you to practice, to have a better understanding. Remember, we're always there for you. Once you have questions or you need clarification, you send us a mail and we'll reply you immediately. Or you leave a comment below and we'll get back to you to help you scale through and to help you succeed in the exam. So, try as much as you can to practice these questions. Everywhere you need our assistance, you call on us and we'll be there for you and we'll definitely give you the best. We we'll wish you the best in all you do. Watch the video one, the lesson two, and the lesson three on that process costing. And it gives you an edge on the exam because you'll definitely come out successful. We wish you the best in all you do, and do have a wonderful day. Goodbye.